So hey guys, what's up? Back again with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be interviewing one of my best YouTube friends kind of online. Um, he's in the little waiting room right now, so we're going to say hi. I'm going to ask him a few questions. Get, uh, get my, my guy. Uh, ask him a few questions and make sure you go subscribe to him. <laughs> he's laughing at me right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop right in. So... What's up, Zach? How you doing? Everything hey. good? Hey, Ian. Um, he lives in California, so we're like three hours apart. It's kind of hard to time all these meetings, but anyway, we're going to hop right into the questions. Okay, first question is pretty simple. What gear do you use? Camera, lenses, gimbals, drones, etc. Um, I'll probably just start it off. Um, camera, I use the Canon SL2. Um, right now, I'm filming on the... Uh, uh, 50 mil. Um, sometimes I use the 18 to 55 millimeter lens just because it was the kit lens. Um, I use a variation of lights. I have like this one key light. Um, it's kind of like a softbox type light with a honey grid on it. And then I use like this backlight colored. It's kind of like a studio. I don't really know what it's called, but you can just find uh, colored lights on Amazon and everywhere. Yeah. What about your gimbal and your drone? And yeah. Um, drone uh, is the Mavic Mini. Really like it. 2K on it is really nice. Um, gimbal is the uh, Zion Crane M3, M2. I, I I kind of forgot. I don't really use it that often, just because I figured that handheld with a camera strap is a lot easier to use. Um, and plus it just barely fits, it can barely uh, use the Canon SL2 on it. So it's kind of tough to use it with, but it's good enough. Alright, that's cool. Alright, next question. Okay, we're going to pause right here. i got to go tell my siblings to be quiet. They're playing some basketball game in the room. You, can you hear that? <laughs> okay, hold up. Welcome back to the mission. The intermission Alrighty, show. Oh I'm, no, wait, he's back. Never I'm back. So, um, next question. Um, what editing software do you use? Um, Premiere Pro. We get like a discount uh, on the Creative Cloud everything because my sister did a college course like once in her life. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, have you heard of the Apple student discount thing? No, I haven't. Yeah, you can get Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Motion, and these two other apps I don't know about for only $200, and it's like a student discount thing. Yikes. I'm gonna have to look into that. Anyway, next question. How long have you been filmmaking? Um... Well, at the start of my channel, I only had a drone, and basically I would only make uh, just montages of drone videos. Then I got the gimbal, and so I added, started to add in, like, gimbal camera things. But then when quarantine hit, I was very bored, and I couldn't really go out anywhere to film anything. So I think the date where I started filming was, I want to say May. Or maybe August of 2019. If you could make a short film, what genre would it be? Short film, genre, um... I really like the action movies. I think uh, that would be really cool. Um, I'm just really bad at just filming short films. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me and Wesley's niche. Yeah, it, it's just... I'm just bad at it, so I don't even try. Um... So, probably my final answer, I'm just going to have to say like an action short film. Just someone totally beating up another guy. That's what I like watching. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, next question is, what is your, what's the, your favorite YouTube video you've made? Favorite YouTube video I've made? Hmm, that's a tough one. Probably, uh, me and Wesley are coming out with a new video. Uh, it's going to be like a collab B-roll type thing. I I can't say too much because uh, I want you guys to watch it and figure it out. 
but uh, it's going to be really cool. That's probably the favorite one I've made so far. The next question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, as a filmmaker. Five years? Um, as a filmmaker, I probably, I might be putting out a different type of, uh, of, of content, but I kind of want to stick to the genre of content if I was going to be making in 10 years. I know that a lot of stuff could change in like more, uh, a lot busier schedule and stuff, but if I would be still filming, I would kind of like to make, uh, I would kind of like to be like a review tutorial type guy. Okay. Yeah. Going off of that question, what software slash gear would you want in like five years? Like, what's your dream camera or whatever? Mm. Dream camera? Ah, uh, there's so many out there, especially with the A7S three and the Canon, uh, I'm, I'm blanking. R5. The fi R5, there we go. Um, probably, I would, I would like to go with the Canon or the Sony. It's going to be a tough decision between both. I would say maybe the Sony a7 III. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would, be, that would be my choice for, like, a, a compact little, like, system. Um... Next question is, why do you like filmmaking? <sighs> filmmaking, I don't know. When you just have that idea in your head to like, you just need to get it out, you know? So it's, it might be a lot of work, but when you see the final product, it's just like, that's why I did it. And it's also really fun because when you gain all those skills and you watch like movies that you like watched before you were getting into filmmaking, you get to like guess and like find, try to figure out how they did that one scene. A good example is, I don't know if you heard of uh, Jesse Driftwood, um, but he did a uh, review of the Fiji camera something, but the intro sequence was so hard to figure out how he did it. It was so crazy but it's just amazing those little things that you can notice when you're when you really like to film it and that's probably one of the things that i really like yeah yeah okay that's cool yeah um with me it's more like um a creative like i like telling stories and that's why okay next question i know i have a lot of questions here um if you could choose any location to film where would you i would say Either like a, a f really dense forest, because I've seen all these like drone shots of just looking down at the, at the top of the trees, and it's just like, yes, it's just awesome. And uh, yeah, that's probably like a really dense snowy forest. Yeah, that would probably be it. Um, would you rather have a drone or a gimbal if you had to choose one? Drone or a gimbal? I would say drone. Yeah. Because, just because I just say that a camera and then a neck strap hold taut, it's just way easier to control. Probably not the best, you probably wouldn't get the best quality, but it still produces really good. Um, and last question. Oh, wait. No, I already said that question. Never mind. Okay. Well. Thank, uh, thank you so much for letting me have you on my channel. Um, yeah, guys, if you want to check out his channel, I'll leave a link for his channel in the description. Make sure you subscribe to him. He comes out with amazing content every other week. Is that right? Because um, yeah, school, just started every other week, but in the summers, it's every week. But yeah, check him out. Thank you so much, Zach. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video where he interviews me, and it's also like a Another collab thing, so if you want to check that out, make sure to head over to his channel whenever he publishes it. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and watch this video again, because I need them views. And always remember, do what you love.